the 1992 AFC Asian Cup was held in Japan. The tournament's format slightly changed as now only eight teams enter the tournament. The first round was a group round, the two groups of four teams, with the four in second place of each group moving on to the knockout rounds. And there was no new teams debuting in this tournament. Instead, Saudi Arabia qualified as the title holders. Meanwhile, Qatar, UAE, Iran, North Korea, China, and Thailand qualified. In the end, Japan would win their first AFC Asian Cup after beating Saudi Arabia in the final. Also, Saudi Arabia started the King Fahd Cup, a tournament that would eventually become the FIFA Confederations Cup. Japan qualified to the 1995 edition after having won this AFC Asian Cup. Saudi Arabia were the hosts, so they also participated. The 1996 edition was held in the UAE. The tournament format changed as 12 teams were now able to enter the tournament. The first round was three groups of four teams with first and second place, along with the two best third place teams, moving on to the quarterfinals. The teams to join UAE were Japan as the title holders, Saudi Arabia, China, Kuwait, Iran, Thailand, Syria, South Korea, and Iraq. Meanwhile, Indonesia and Uzbekistan would both make their debuts. And in the end, Saudi Arabia would win their third AFC Asian Cup after beating the UAE in the final, tying Iran for the most AFC Asian Cups, three each. Also, this tournament served as qualifications for the 1997 FIFA Confederations Cup. Saudi Arabia was already the host, so they were in, which meant that UAE, the runner-up, was given a ticket to participate. Also, also, this tournament served as qualifiers for the 1999 FIFA Confederations Cup, which was held in Mexico. Saudi Arabia, as champions of the 1996 AFC Asian Cup, were the AFC representative team at the 1999 FIFA Confederations Cup. The 2000 AFC Asian Cup edition was hosted in Lebanon. The tournament's format was the same as the previous edition, and 10 out of the 12 teams from the last edition also qualified to this tournament. While UAE and Syria didn't make it, Lebanon, who was making their debut, and Qatar qualified. In the end, Japan would claim their second AFC Asian Cup after beating Saudi Arabia in the final. This tournament was also used as a qualifier to the 2003 FIFA Confederations Cup, meaning Japan, as the champion, would attend the tournament as the AFC representative team. The 2004 Asian Cup edition was hosted in China. The tournament format was slightly edited as now 16 teams were able to participate, so now it was four groups of four teams and the top two teams of each group would move on to the knockout rounds. Uh, the teams that joined China were Japan as title holders, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, Iraq, Bahrain, South Korea, UAE, Uzbekistan, Qatar, Iran, and Thailand. Meanwhile, Jordan, Turkmenistan, and Oman all debuted. In the end, Japan would retain their title after defeating China in the final. Japan would also tie Saudi Arabia and Iran with three AFC Asian Cups. The post-game riots unfortunately did leave a bad aftertaste in what was an otherwise good memorable tournament. This tournament also served as qualifiers to the 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup, meaning Japan, as the champion, would attend the tournament as the AFC representative team. The 2007 edition, that's right, 2007, not 2008, was hosted in four countries. AFC moved this edition one year earlier and have been continuing the every four-year tradition since, due to the fact that their tournaments were clashing with the Summer Olympic tournaments as well as fighting for viewerships against the Euros. The tournament format was the same as the last edition. The four hosts were Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Indonesia. They were joined by Qatar, Japan, who had to qualify even though they were the title holders, Saudi Arabia, Iran, South Korea, UAE, Oman, Iraq, China, Bahrain, and Uzbekistan. Australia, now an AFC member after joining in 2006, would make their debut. And in the end, Iraq would create a historic moment after they won their first AFC Asian Cup by beating Saudi Arabia in the final. This tournament also served as a qualifier to the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup, meaning Iraq, as a champion, would represent the AFC region at that tournament. The 2011 edition was hosted by Qatar. The tournament format was the same as the last edition. The teams to join Qatar were Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and South Korea, all who ended in 1st, 2nd, and 3rd place in the last edition, respectively. Meanwhile, Uzbekistan, China, Syria, Iran, Japan, Bahrain, UAE, Australia, Kuwait, and Jordan all qualified through the qualifiers. And I say this because then 
India and North Korea qualified via the 2008 and 2010 AFC Challenge Cup, which was a tournament created by the AFC that was essentially a Division II international tournament. I also said was, as it was abolished in 2014. So, in the end, Japan would win their fourth AFC Asian Cup, making them the most successful AFC team in the process, as well as qualifying to the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup. The 2015 edition was held in Australia. The tournament format was the same as the previous edition. 14 of the 16 teams from the last tournament qualified again to this tournament. Syria and India were the ones that failed to qualify to this tournament. Meanwhile, the new teams were Oman, who had previously qualified, and Palestine, who qualified via the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup, and were also making their AFC Asian Cup debut. In the end, Australia would win their first AFC Asian Cup after beating South Korea, qualifying them to the 2017 FIFA Confederations, as well as making them the first and only nation so far to win a regional championship in two regions, the AFC Asia and the OFC Oceania, which they last won in 2004. Also, they are the only nation in which both the men and women have won in two regions. The Australia women's team completed this feat when they won their division's OFC Women's Nations Cup, last won in 2003, and won the AFC Women's Asian Cup tournament back in 2010. The 2019 edition was held in the UAE. The tournament format changed as now 24 nations are able to join. For the tournament, there are now six groups of four teams, and the top two teams alongside the four best third places would move on to the knockout rounds. The teams to join the host through qualifications were Qatar, South Korea, Japan, Saudi Arabia, Thailand, Australia, Uzbekistan, Iran, Syria, Iraq, China, Palestine, Oman, India, Lebanon, Turkmenistan, Jordan, Bahrain, North Korea, and Vietnam. Kyrgyzstan, Philippines, and Yemen would all make their debut in this tournament. For the Hawkeye people, South Yemen had qualified prior, but modern-day Yemen's international football record is attributed to have been North Yemen's international football. So, for the tournament, in the end, Qatar would win their first-ever AFC Asian Cup, three years before hosting the World Cup. The 2023 edition was scheduled to take place in China. However, because of the pandemic and China's policies at the time, the tournament was moved to Qatar. Also, since Qatar was scheduled to participate in the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup as an invitee, the 2023 AFC Asian Cup is now scheduled to take place in January of 2024. Qatar will be joined by Japan, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Australia, Iran, UAE, China, Iraq, Oman, Vietnam, Lebanon, Palestine, Uzbekistan, Thailand, India, Hong Kong, Kyrgyzstan, Bahrain, Malaysia, Jordan, and Indonesia. Tajikistan will be making their debut. And lastly, the 2027 edition is currently scheduled to take place in Saudi Arabia. Alright, so that's all the AFC Asian Cups. Now let me finish the World Cup qualifiers.